live show? Um, I'm here with my son, so, and I'm babysitting him. And last time I did a space on Twitter, which I'm doing regularly now. Mikey here, my beautiful boy, thought it was a great idea. Hey, Mikey, to uh, take off his armbands and jump in the water without them, almost drowning. So I have to pay attention to him. Um, and also I'm spending some quality time with him. Uh, and so I can't really do uh, too much time here. But since, yeah, it's really, I'm spending a lot of time on investing and um, and I'm sure many of you are going through a hard time also. I think it's important to, uh, to talk more about investing and what I do and to answer your questions. Uh, first of all, it's been a while that I did a live show. Um, hit the like button uh, to attract more viewers, but also, um, yeah, I just want to acknowledge that I've been really wrong um, a year ago. Um, as I do more and more research um, about investing, I just see many charts that showed that the stock market was severely overvalued. And, and in the short term, eh, like, yes, I was saying there's a long-term bull market, there's no need to sell. Um, um, but at the same time, it was in the short term severely overvalued and um, and the same was true for crypto uh, that um, um, that went from hey, um, up a lot after the COVID uh, crash when it was a market cap of I don't know how much was it at the bottom 100 billion 200 billion and it went up to basically 3 trillion in one year, uh, uh, 30 folding. Uh, 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 hi. And so what I did instead was I said like, okay, this is going faster than I expected. So we will see the top sooner uh, likely than I expected. Um, but there's no reason to sell yet because we're only at 3 trillion or 2 trillion and we'll go likely to 7 trillion or 10 trillion. Uh, and therefore I'm keeping my long position here and a, a, a big exposure of 80-90% to crypto uh, and I'm not selling anything. That was a really big mistake. Uh, same for stocks. Uh, I was in airline stocks uh, for the most part uh, that had gone up a lot. Um, I, I did sell my, 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 uh, my Tesla stock, but, uh, but I still had a big exposure to, te uh, to, 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 to other stocks, airline stocks. And if you looked at the valuation of the, of the stock market, uh, the correction was likely and so I didn't do my home homework a year ago. I had become a lazy investor um, and I had become uh, complacent. I get, did get some warnings from some people that followed my work, such as Classic David, as well as um, um, there was also um, um, uh, the, new sh uh, the name escapes me, but that said like, no, it's likely to go down. Uh, um, uh, and I ignored their, um, uh, well, yeah, I ignored their warnings and uh, and, and, and yeah, thanks, thank you uh, to those people and um, crypto medias also uh, and, uh, and congrats to you. Um, so uh, I think it's really I, the, the world we live in today as an individual private investor, we have many tools uh, to help each other, to share work with each other, to share findings with each other. I think Twitter is the best tool. Um, YouTube is also a very good tool um, uh, uh, to share and to comment and, and, and I learned so much from other people's Twitter and other people's YouTube and, uh, and, 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 and I continue to do so. Um, first Mill. Hi, uh, welcome First Mill. I've been enjoying your YouTube channel a lot. Uh, first Mill has a great YouTube channel uh, talking mainly about uh, Bitcoin Cash and investing in general, but he has lots of experience, did a different kind of investment approaches in the past. And uh, yeah, I admire uh, your work. Um, I think during times like this, most people will bail uh, on an investment um, uh, or they will stop promoting it. Um, uh, 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 but you're one of the few that actually continues to um, promote Bitcoin Cash. And also have a very honest uh, and open uh, look on, on, on all these things. So thank you uh, for sharing uh, all that on your YouTube channel. Um, 
also very very difficult to be optimistic about an investment after it lost so much uh, but you still have that and that's very um, inspiring I find um, uh, uh, you have a uh, reason uh, when it comes to and logic when it comes to investing you also have emotions and and and, and I think um, yeah, I don't see him or First Mill making many arguments why Bitcoin Cash, uh, logical arguments why Bitcoin Cash has a high probability to go up a lot. But what I do see a lot from him is just the the right emotional uh, approach of being courageous and being confident um, and, and looking very long term. Uh, so so yeah, that, that's something that uh, I find very um, admirable. Um, uh, maybe I can add a little bit there because that's something I'm wondering myself actually often Bitcoin Cash eh? how, how will it succeed um, how will it find adoption um, how, how th th that's for me still a big question the experiments or the, the efforts that have been made by, Bit by the Bitcoin Cash community have not been successful in my opinion such as merchant adoption I, I don't believe in that approach personally uh, because there are no customers uh, you can abort thousand merchants in your city but if there are nobody paying with Bitcoin cash after a while they just all drop it that's been what's happening to BTC but of course BTC sabotaged this process however I think the same will happen to Bitcoin cash even without sabotaging it because well, there are just not enough customers in any given city to to have to make it financially worthwhile for a, a small merchant uh, to keep accepting Bitcoin Cash. Um, yeah, it's a no, when it's a novelty, many owners will, will start uh, uh, accepting it. But you have to educate your employees, and employees change every year. You have other ones, and you have to and you have to keep the infrastructure available, which is a simple smartphone with a Bitcoin Cash wallet, or or maybe a, a, a BitPay uh, app, or. Uh, but you do have to continue to educate your customers, and and if there's only one customer every week or every month, uh, after a while they just drop it. Uh, so so I think, I I don't think, I don't think that's that's gonna work right now. Uh, I could be wrong there. Uh, that's just my opinion. At the same time, I believe that an approach like noise.cash or read.cash or it's just social media or um, uh, maybe the right approach. But noise.cash has really not given the results that I hoped for. Um, yeah, it's a useful app, but you need to compete with Twitter. Eh? Like network effects are very important uh, to not underestimate. And I think Twitter was poorly managed before. And so there was a chance for other social media uh, to, 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 to take market share. But Elon Musk likely taking over this platform. You can already see that the platform ha gets a very big new boost and, and actually hasn't reached its potential at all. Uh, and so I think that, that it will be very hard for any, um, any, any social media to compete uh, and beat network effects. Um, so... Um, uh, other efforts such as smart BCH, which is DeFi on Bitcoin Cash. The problem there is that um, uh, you're 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 not a, a leader. Eh? Like you're not. Um, uh, um, Ethereum started the smart contracts, and 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 so it has a network effect to its advantage. And to to launch um, DeFi. Um, uh, apps or application on top of Bitcoin Cash, it will be hard to find uh, 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 the, the, the customer base. Um, same for true is for NFTs. I could be wrong there also because I never used myself Smart BCH, so I could really not see it. Um, uh, but it's difficult. Huh? Um, so uh, uh, for me, that's still a, a, a question: How will Bitcoin Cash find adoption? But I think the answer may lay in what how first mill. Uh, looks at it and, and, and talks about it in his on his YouTube channel and that is that well you, Bitcoin cash can be silver while Bitcoin BTC can be the gold huh? Bitcoin BTC that's of course a, a, a slogan that was also used by LTC Litecoin that is the silver to Bitcoin um, um, but um, there the problem is that uh, it's 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 not a fourth coin litecoin it's a new coin eh? with a new user base and it and and the founder has left and it's it's um um it's not really being enough promoted um 
but Bitcoin Cash is still around on all important exchanges and on all important um, um, payment um, providers uh, such as uh, Coinbase or, or, or BitPay or the new ones, uh, of course, uh, PayPal. Uh, and like Bitcoin Cash is available there, whereas Litecoin not always. Um, and Litecoin doesn't have that community to really promote payments uh, with it. So um, I, I do think it is possible that if you look at it very simplistically, uh, that over time actually Bitcoin Cash can find traction as the payment solution where Bitcoin BTC fails and is looked upon as a storage solution huh? because Bitcoin Cash has the same um, um, is, 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 is the same uh, user base and the same history uh, Bitcoin Cash is Bitcoin um, it has the same uh, ledger and um, and 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 it's been continually built out correctly huh? uh, that you can't really say about Litecoin. Huh? Um, uh, the, the people building on Bitcoin Cash continue to build it correctly uh, as, de uh, as decentralized as possible um, and allowing innovations to also happen on it or at least uh, uh, stay uh, in touch uh, uh, with, with what's happening in the a more global crypto community and implement the innovations that are also realized elsewhere such as for example smart bch and nfts so um i think me i still have a large exposure of course it's very very frustrating to see bitcoin cash lose so much market share uh now it's passed by xmr for example xmr i think monero has actually uh, it's showing how it needs to be done eh? uh, and has done a lot better than bitcoin cash price wise but also i think fundamental wise eh? fundamental wise it, it's all about adoption real adoption and 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 for that you need to have a real use case that's finding adoption in case from of monero because it's the best privacy coin it and of course because it's been promoted well um it found real adoption in the dark market and has become there the leading coin i believe and that's a very, very strong position to find yourself in. Uh, and that probably also explains why it has gradually um, gone up better than Bitcoin Cash. Um, or actually, you could say has gone up where Bitcoin Cash failed to go up, uh, even during the last few years. Um, and, and so, and now that Monero has passed Bitcoin Cash, well, uh, I can only say a big congratulations to them. and. And, uh, and, uh, and, and they did it well. Bitcoin Cash, I think, still has a chance to also find a real uh, adoption. It is still the leading coin when it comes to merchant adoption. Huh? But there, uh, I do believe that, um, I don't know like, like how to do it, but you need a big, much bigger user base there to have this, this really to take off. And I don't know how that can be done. Um, uh, but I still hold the big Bitcoin cash position. Also, right now to sell it, it's just, it makes no financial sense because I think the worst is behind us. I never expected this to happen, that it would correct back to $100 uh, four or five years later. After it, the first time I went to $100, I was shocked at the end of 2018. Uh, I failed to buy the bottom, but I bought, bought around, uh, which was $80, but I did buy around $100 and $150. Um, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and I never expected these prices to be revisited. Um, but yeah, what has happened in the Bitcoin Cash community has not been pretty uh, the past few months. Um, um, uh, of course, me, myself, actually, I got also margin called. Uh, I lost 40% of my Bitcoin Cash that I chose to sell. To, uh, uh, to pay for margin calls, um, uh, uh, um, but I still have a large exposure, but I, the same has happened to Roger very likely, um, uh, and, and he probably lost uh, quite a bunch of Bitcoin cash in making the wrong, well, in making leveraged bets huh? uh, uh, on crypto uh, going long and, and things going down more than you expect, and well, uh, you lose then uh, money and, and you have to sell some of your assets. Um, so I think that likely caused also this big uh, drawdown. Uh, of course, all users of um, of, uh, of the biggest uh, Bitcoin Cash exchange um, have also lost uh, their Bitcoin Cash, huh? uh, and that would be um, the name of the platform um, escapes me now. Um, but 
but they just basically closed their doors or, or they, they, they stopped withdrawals and all the people that have coins there. And this was also a bridge um, uh, for Smart BCH. So everybody had coins on Smart BCH was basically exposed to, well, many of them used this platform to exchange coins uh, uh, exchange BCH for smart BCH coins and that way they could also then uh, trade on the decentralized smart BCH platform but but there was a centralized solution to, to convert between uh, these two and, and many of course also used um, yield uh, farming on that platform to get interest on the Bitcoin Cash and, and yeah that has imploded and so probably uh, the Bitcoin Cash that the people thought they had there is probably already liquidated on the markets uh, uh, for margin calls and and, uh, and so it means many people lost uh, bit, me included, lost uh, a piece of their or all of their Bitcoin Cash and all of that has been likely sold in the market and that causes of course markets uh, price to go down because who have been the buyers? Huh? Uh, I wasn't a buyer. Um, uh, you can, if you follow Twitter and YouTube, you can see some more dollar cost averaging into bitcoin cash but i think these are more smaller amounts huh? uh, and that's why uh, more seller pressure less buyer pressure causes price to go down but i think for the most part is the leveraging that we've seen in in, in crypto uh, is, is is probably over um, um and um and so the coins that have taken the biggest hits due to deleveraging and i think ethereum is also one of them probably um, uh, um, uh, will likely also pump uh, after the deleveraging is done uh, let me take a look at the comments If I die, life will be filled with regrets, says Bitcoin Cash Company. Um, I'm sorry to hear that. Um, yeah. Thank you for the compliments, guys. Uh, and thank you for all your support on Twitter. Um, uh, um, thank you so much. Um, uh, so what's the best way to onboard a merchant into crypto? Um, well, I, I think there, like, what's really lacking is not onboarding of merchants. Uh, people like Roger Ver and, and a few others are really focused on that. And, and, and so there are already pockets uh, where merchants are accepted. But what I think there is lacking um, is, is really the users. And so if you want to see that as a success um, and you want to put energy into that, eh, because I could do that too, but I'm not doing that, eh, uh, is... Um, uh, you could go there and spend some Bitcoin cash. Uh, it's in the Caribbean, uh, Roger is active. In Australia, there's also someone there active. Uh, in India, um, uh, there's also in Miami, uh, uh, like uh, uh, someone active. And so there are already a bunch of merchants there. You could go there to spend the BCH. Um, but I think where you could add even more value is coordinate this more wisely. Because I think the only merchants that really make chance to continue to use bitcoin cash is online merchants because when you're online and you're in a big economy then there are enough users huh? um, so i'm using bitcoin cash for example a lot uh, to pay for my to charge up my visa card huh? um, uh, i use it also a lot to use websites like travala travala I, I can book hotels and flights okay because this is a website that can be globally used huh? Uh, so it's very useful if you can onboard websites that are global uh, uh, because you can promote that to the whole Bitcoin Cash community. Everybody can use that, eh? but the local restaurant, nobody can use that. Eh? Um, um, and, um, um, and of course, Perth.io uh, uh, also use uh, still uh, very, very valuable uh, to, to be able to get discounts on Amazon 
uh, thanks to using Bitcoin Cash. Um, uh, I would like to say something about the discussion I've had with uh, crypto. Uh, Colin talks crypto because this really stands out to me, uh, where um, Colin talks crypto has made a very valuable index. It's called CBBI. Colin Bitcoin Bull Run Index. And this uh, uses uh, uh, 10 or so uh, indicators to judge. So, uh, uh, but it's very interesting because uh, Colin is bearish right now and he thinks it's likely for prices to go down. While at the same time, uh, his own uh, indicator um, uh, index um, is signaling that we're actually with a 90% probability um, at, at, the, at the bottom. Huh? And because his indicator says we're only 10% chance that we're at the top. That also means that we're a 90% chance we're at the bottom. Huh? And, and then the question is, is it likely that you will go lower? Huh? When you're, and you have to turn things around to see the, the, the reality there. And if you turn it around, let's say the indicator signals that we're 90% sure at the top. Is it then wise to be bu bullish? No. Huh? Why? Uh, because it's 90% certain you're at the top. Huh? Uh, is it likely it will go higher? No, it's not likely. If you're 90% certain at the top, it's not likely to go higher. And the upwards potential is also low. Huh? Uh, and it's not likely to go higher because, um, because the higher you go, the more likely the reverse, the reversion will, will start. Huh? And it's the other way around the same. The lower you go, the more likely that it is stops and it will revert. And so if, we're, if his indicator, his indicator is, is saying it's 90% sure we're at the bottom. And that means not only is the downwards potential low, it also means that the chance that we go lower is also low. And if you put that into a Kelly calculation, huh, if you put, for example, a 60% chance that you go up and a 40% chance that you go down, huh, and you put the, the downwards potential at, let's say, 50%. Huh? Let's say this is generous. We drop another 50% in crypto huh? or in Bitcoin Cash or any of the coins that you like. Uh, and there is a 40% chance for that to happen. However, there is a 60% chance that it will tenfold or hundredfold from here, which is a realistic estimate. Oui, wait, we're... The boat is not... The boat is not driving. Let's, let's, let's change the boat. Yeah, but you, you put the boat underwater, eh, Mikey? You put the boat underwater, then it's finished. Huh? It's finished. The boat needs to dry now. Huh? I don't think the boat will work. Let's try. Let's try. Yeah, try, try. No, it's broken. Yeah, again. No, it's broken, sorry. You can swim with the boat. Huh? But you cannot drive the boat. So, 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 so that means that Kelly will recommend an allocation of uh, of fifty percent or so, huh? uh, maybe forty percent. That's what I get with, when I put in the numbers. So then the question is, how much percent uh, of do these people have allocated? If they have indeed forty or fifty percent allocated to crypto, I have no critiques here. Huh? Uh, I mean, they're doing it right. However. If they don't have that and they are, for example, 0% exposed or 10% exposed or 20% exposed, then I think they are doing it wrong. Huh? And that applies to everyone. Huh? Um, uh, 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 so, so talk doesn't really matter. Allocation matters. Huh? And if you have an allocation lower than 40%, 50%, I think you're doing it wrong uh, when it comes to crypto. Huh? Um, mm -mm. Let me take a look at the comments. Uh, also, like, how do I explain what has happened? Uh, because that is important. Eh? Uh, I've been so wrong. How, how was that possible to happen? Well, I, I think I really underestimated how the market looks forward. Eh? The market is really looking forward. And, and when, when after COVID, 
um, uh, 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 crypto pumped so much and, and growth stocks pumped so much. I, I, I thought, uh, as many people did, like, how is that possible? Like, I mean, the economy is on a standstill. Why, are thing, why is the stock market pumping so much? Huh? Um, and, and so at the same time, I was saying, like, this is not going to last, like, COVID will pass and, and, and the economy will pick up again and then, and then the stock market will do well. However, I didn't have my eyes open because the stock market was already doing very well and crypto was already doing very well. Huh? Um, uh, 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 and, and so I thought like it's going to do even better once uh, COVID is over. But what happened was that actually once COVID was over, the, f the, the market was already looking forward to the next problem, which was that now the price would have to be paid of the COVID shutdowns, which means serious supply problems, serious inflation problems, because during crisis they print a lot of money. During such a COVID crisis, they fuck up the, the, the supply system uh, very badly. Uh, 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 and, and, and so now the price needs to be paid of that. And now the stock market was already one year ago, uh, as COVID was not even really over yet, because there were still lots of lockdowns and masks everywhere. But the peak was already well, at the end of the year, but for growth stocks and crypto, it was already in the middle of the year, was already like starting to go down. And, and, and so, yeah, um, I think that's what has happened. Eh? Um, and that explains how I could have been so wrong. Um, because, well, I thought that the market was not... What? No, I'm not jumping, but you jump very well. Wow. Huh? Wow. Wow. Yeah. I'm on a call, eh? I will call a little bit more, eh? make a video. No, no, I'm, I'm going to stay on the phone a little longer, okay? Yes, yes, later, okay? So, we are young. Yeah. So, so then we have to ask ourselves uh, uh, if the market is indeed not so stupid. Um, and is looking forward. So what's next? Huh? What, what, what will the market start to price in today that's actually not there yet? Huh? Um, uh, what's the next stage of the economy? Huh? Uh, and, and that likely will start to be priced in. Huh? Because what's already priced in is recession, inflationary fears, uh, supply shocks. That's now priced in, I believe, huh? fully. Um, uh, uh, also war uh, 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 in Russia and possible ex escalation. Um, if you look at commodity prices, uh, like it is, you can certainly make a case that that's priced in already. They are historically high. Um, uh, but so what's next? Uh? Um, and that's the big question here, uh? um, and, and because that likely will be priced in soon, and the market will probably go there quite soon. Yeah, you jump like this? Yeah, you jump, okay? And you show the people. You show the people how you jump, yeah? You go there, go up there, and you jump, okay? And I will take camera picture, okay? Yeah? You do that? Yeah, see, that's the problem. I cannot make this too long because he wants to play with Papa. Um... Um, yeah. Ah, he's going to the toilet on his own. Three years old, very good, huh? So, so, so uh, he's asking me here, um, uh, Safen, what are your? In I'm sorry, I'm sorry. The internet dropped. We're back here. We're back. Um, so yeah, uh, 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 what other things do I enjoy? Well, I have a, a big family and, uh, and I, I'm, I enjoy spending time with them. I also enjoy um, um, just, yeah, actually uh, I'm still a workaholic because I had hoped to work less, but um, but with losing so much, I, 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 I really like, I'm an ambitious man and I want to like do well. And so actually I'm working a lot. Um, and other than that, spending time with my uh, girlfriends and my uh, children. Uh, hobbies I don't really have, uh, but I do like to watch YouTube from time 
even stupid videos that can make me laugh um, to relax a bit such as idiot drivers or idiot work uh, uh, work accidents mm. Um, but um, I, 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 so I, I, I do these videos, I share my work because um, it helps me a lot to feedback from other people. But I, I do believe I have an important message. Uh, and the important message is that today is, is really like I have uh, still 70% exposed to crypto, 35% exposed to stocks, I have some shorts on commodities. Okay, that's more risky, I would say. But I, I believe it's really the right thing to do is to be have a large exposure to crypto today and a large exposure to Papa. stocks. Yeah? Yeah, Jonge? You want to go to the... Make bubbles? Here, here, here you make bubbles. Come. Here, make bubbles. Is this working still? You make bubbles? Yeah? Put your hand in. Put your hand. Yeah? Okay. And make the bubbles. Yeah. Wow, look. Wow. Um, uh, and, 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 and not only do you have yeah, emotion against you, of course, eh, but I do believe you have a reason uh, with you. Eh? Uh, and the reason is very simple. The chance that it go down is actually not high, it's low. And the downs potential is also low. That should be sufficient uh, to actually have a, 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 a... If you understand that, then you also understand that your exposure should be high. Eh? Um, and also, like... You have to ask yourself, if, is this true? Uh, is it true? Uh, and then people will always bring up the argument, yeah, but this time is different. Uh, and this time is different. There's always another story for that. Now the story is, oh yeah, but the stock market will continue to collapse. The, 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 the economy is bad. Uh, but it's all like nine chances in 10. The this time is different story does not apply. Uh, that's always the case. Uh, it's also the other way around. Uh, if you're there at the top, you will see like, okay, yeah, it's true, upwards potential is not so high, but people think, yeah, it's not so high, but I could double my money the next week, so it's that's okay for me. Huh? Um, so greed takes over. Huh? Uh, 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 but if, they, if you're thinking rationally, you can say like, actually, no, upwards potential is indeed not so high, and the chance that it will happen is also not so high. But there people will say, actually, it's been going up all the time the past few years. Like the chance that it's going to go up even more now is very high. That's what people think. But it's not true. It's just wrong logic. Eh? And now you see the same the other way around. Huh? People say like, OK, the downward potential is low. But then people think, yeah, but, you know, I could be next week cut again in half. I mean, I've been cut in, in half multi multiple times the past year. Why not another uh, halving? And that's I really don't want to happen anymore. Huh? I have that same fear. Huh? Um, uh, but it's not a rational. Uh, uh, it's not rational to think like that, huh? because there's a limit how low it can go, huh? and that's based on just global purchasing power. If you look at the value of other asset classes, the amount of money in circulation, um, uh, you look at fundamental indicators such as PE ratios and uh, and for for for. Um, for stock, uh, for, for crypto, there are all a bunch of them, you, you can see on my Twitter. Uh, there are so many indicators showing that, no, no, this is actually very unlikely to go lower. Huh? Uh, and if it goes lower, it's very unlikely to go much lower. Huh? So uh, uh, those are, that's very, very important to realize and to invest correctly. And very few people really point that out. Huh? Most people are really focused, are captured by fear huh? and sharing reasons and arguments why actually it's risky to invest now in stocks and risky to invest now in crypto but it's not true huh? it's not risky right now huh? it's actually not risky huh? um, uh, something like bitcoin cash hundred dollars a coin total market cap of two billion uh, I mean, uh, is crypto the future? Uh, is that likely going to be the money of the future or not? Or will it die? Uh, it's likely going to be the money of the future because it's much better money than fiat currencies. Eh? Uh, likely, eh? people will mo use more and more crypto over time. So then the question is, okay, what's the potential value of these cryptocurrencies? Huh? Well, uh, these days, because fiat is such a bad money, actually people use real estate as money. As a store of value, people don't store gold. 
they, they buy a couple of houses. So houses have become money uh, as a store of value. Huh? So that's the potential. Uh, uh, people use stocks to store money, index funds. Huh? Uh, money, because it's so bad, fiat money, is not really used as money. It's just as a transaction medium. Nobody saves you as dollars. Huh? Uh, also not a bank account with negative interest rates. So money, if you look at like what's the potential of cryptocurrency, you have to look at, okay, it can, take, it can become as valuable as fiat currencies, but that's not the full story. It can become as, take a big piece of the market out of stocks and out of real estate and out of bonds because that is all used as stores of, 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 of value, as stores of money. Eh? And, 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 and so the potential is very high. Once you have quality money, such as cryptocurrencies, where you have a real free market, many uh, uh, companies, many currencies competing with each other, eh? the, the upward potential is tremendous because this will become a very big asset class in the future, in our lifetime. Eh? But it's of course very it's via booms and busts, just like the stock market, and, and and so it's very difficult. But the upward potential is 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 not 10 trillion. Uh, it's not 100 trillion. Eh? Um, uh, 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 or or you could say yeah, it's 100 trillion or 1,000 trillion. These are the upward potentials that may happen in our lifetime. Eh? And so we're again below 1 trillion. Eh? Uh, so the valuations are very low. Eh? And projects like Bitcoin Cash, sure, it can fail. Eh? Um, uh, 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 but Ethereum, for example, very likely to keep a leading position. Um, uh, but but you have to look at pricing. Like, how is it priced? Well, Bitcoin Cash is priced as a project that will likely fail right now. Huh? It's not priced as a project that will likely succeed. Huh? Uh, so. Uh, you can throw some money at that, huh? uh, 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 but indeed, um, 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 betting on different horses is something I did too little. Uh, I would do. I do recommend to do that, um, uh, and so you can buy ten of those crypto uh, currency projects and just hold them. Very likely, you'll do very well. Uh, but that's today is a good time to do that. Huh? Yes. No, I will sign. I will sign. Huh? I, I want to bring that. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Let, let me take a look at the, at the, at the questions. Uh, sorry, uh, it's not a BCH. It's not a fork of Bitcoin Cash. I think. Uh, how was the right name? I don't know the right name, but I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, I do think it's a fork. It's a fork, actually. Yeah. What is sir? Huh? What's the problem? Huh? What's the problem? You put the water out of the boat, huh? Otherwise, you cannot float, huh? Huh? What? But, uh, but I think as investors now is the time to work, uh, not the, the time to uh, make babies. Eh? Oh, sorry. I, I, although it's always a good time to make babies, but uh, I mean, financial security is not high now with the investor, uh, the growth investor. Eh? Uh, the best time to make babies is when, when, when you have, when you're doing well financially, then you can focus on other things such as buying, uh, securing, uh, securing your investments into less volatile investments such as real estate, uh, finding girlfriends, uh, making babies, like all these things are costs, they are not income. Uh, um, uh, now is the time to focus really on like income uh, and, and making money. Um, uh, and, and laying the right foundations for that by making the investments both with your capital and your time uh, uh, um, so, you have a pen? Or I can I can sign it? Eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have ready, yes. Yeah? Yes, yes. Ah, let yes. me bring the. Oh yeah. Um. Uh. And that's what I do. What is the young one? Huh? Yeah, the boat is okay, huh? the boat is okay, the boat is okay, it will float, huh? Let's put the boat in the water. You put it in the water there, huh? Put it there in the water, it will float, huh? Uh, the selling of Bitcoin Cash at $100 makes any sense? Well, it depends on your allocation. Eh? Uh, um, 
yeah, if you want to invest in, in other projects also, yeah, uh, you can sell some for other projects. Um, but I would say it depends on your crypto allocation. Eh? If you have... I would You feel pain? From the boat? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, if you have uh, less than 50% crypto or 40%, then it doesn't make sense to sell crypto. But if you don't, uh, but if you have more than 40 or 50% crypto, yes, it makes rational sense. You can sell some and invest in other uh, investments. Sorry, I'll make, I'll give Mikey a kiss here. Eh? Mikey has uh, hurt his finger. Mm. Sorry, Yonga. Sorry. Sorry. You want to say hi to the people? Wow, you have a big tongue, eh? huh? Huh? Wow, huh? Wow. You say hi? Huh? Um. <clears throat> um. <clears throat> I, I can also recommend this channel of, of, um, not sweaty uh, I've, I've shared that on Twitter um, uh, it's a very good YouTube channel very few subscribers but he has the right attitude uh, when you're feeling down about your investments he's looking at this the right way huh and um, because for example like I got a warning from Colin talks crypto he made a video uh, saying that he's concerned that I will lose all my money and I I, I understand is well intended huh? Um, uh, 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 and but but at the same time like um this kind of fear uh, is really not um it's not really helping huh uh, you already struggle with that that you will lose everything eh? if other people around you have also that fear and and telling to you hey you know like i'm really afraid you're gonna lose everything uh and and and, and, and so that, that of course gonna lead you to sell um and, and that's really the wrong move here huh um um, I, I take it one step further, uh, 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 which I understand most people disagree with, but I, I'm so strongly convinced of that, that actually I think now is the time to take leverage. Huh? Now is the time to la uh, borrow money against your crypto uh, in the DeFi space, which has done very well, actually. It's only CeFi that collapsed. It's not DeFi. Uh, DeFi gives you an opportunity to borrow money against your crypto huh? um, in, a, in a decentralized way, without any counterparty risk, without any centralized counter counterparty risk. Eh? Of course, there is contract risk. Eh? Uh, the code can be, uh, not be well, you can be hacked. Eh? And these things have happened in DeFi, but that's a much lower risk than uh, centralized parties uh, losing your money. Um, uh, so DeFi allows you to borrow money um, or lend it. If you want to lend it, you really don't believe uh, in margin, you really don't believe in, in leverage. Okay, you can lend your crypto uh, in a without counterparty risk. Huh? Uh, you're sure there that if the guy that lends it from you uh, fucks up, well, you'll get paid with his collateral. Huh? Um, or if the market suddenly crashes, well, automatically his collateral will be liquidated and not depending on some centralized party that may uh, uh, do favors to his buddies uh, with un uncollateralized loans using your, your coins. No, no, no. Uh, that's all not going to happen. Uh, it's for sure collateralized. Uh, you can lend it out and, and, and make a return on your uh, crypto, lending it out without counterparty risk. Eh? So this is what DeFi allows you. But I would recommend to take the other side of the trade there uh, and actually borrow. Um, but you have to use your crypto as collateral, but borrow against it and invest more either in the crypto market or in other markets with that money. Uh, you can invest in the stock market. There are very big opportunities there also right now in growth stocks, I believe. Um, and there are other trades you can take on. Uh, I'm shorting commodities. You can do that also with that money though that's more risky you can long bonds right now which i think is also a good uh, investment um so so these are the opportunities today to, to take uh, uh but 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 being invested for 100 percent is the right move i believe even for 150 percent uh being invested in the markets is the right move right now 
uh, and so um, in, in channels uh, like for example not sweaty I really enjoy that it's a very small channel but it's someone with lots of experience in investing and and that that has um, um, over the decades uh, done the right thing during such hard times which is you need to just invest in those projects that you believe in ignore all the fear mongering around you of family and friends and colleagues huh? um, uh, uh, and, and invest huh? and hold on to those investments uh, for the long run and you'll do well it's as simple as that uh, and, and diversify over a bunch of projects that you like uh, don't be too picky there huh? and now it's not the right time to be picky actually huh? uh, uh, um, um, and, 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 and you'll do well but this is a very difficult thing to do it's easy but difficult hmm? sorry um, it's easy to say but difficult to do Yeah, so USDT Tether uh, collapsing is of course a threat overhanging the crypto market, but I don't think it's likely to happen because the biggest scams collapse during the biggest bear markets and I don't think it's likely that uh, crypto will correct more um, and that we have a real, of course we're already in a real bear market ter territory, if you look at all these indicators it's as bad as the, the bear market of 2018 or 2014 already, uh, but, but but will it get worse? I don't think that's likely uh, for the same reason that I've given uh, always, uh, which is that we're in a long-term bull market still for uh, crypto, I believe. I could be wrong there. Huh? Uh, I'm, I'm certainly being proven wrong there right now. Uh, but but um, if my explanation is true, that actually the global markets have affected crypto a lot and have caused it to pump much earlier in its cycle during the 2020-2021 and then have caused it to dump much earlier than expected the past year well then it will depend also on the global markets what's gonna happen next huh? and I think it's likely that the global markets if not they saw the bottom already and, and bounce from here then they might see a bottom further but they still might have a, a dead cat bounce first so and I think it's very likely for the markets to go up here um, 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 and, and I think it's still also likely it's not likely uh, the indexes have found the bottom I agree with that S&P 500 but it is likely that Nasdaq has found the bottom that growth stocks have found the bottom that I do think is likely huh? um, and, that, and that applies to crypto also huh? I do think it's likely actually crypto has seen its bottom uh, at uh, 70,000 for BTC 900 for Ethereum and an overall market cap of 850 uh, billion. Uh, I do believe that's likely to be the bot. Um, yeah, Coinflex was the name of the platform uh, that uh, was the biggest trading platform of Bitcoin Cash and that uh, went under uh, recently. Looking at the comments. Yeah, it's true that uh, Bitcoin Cash, uh, as, as uh, Jarmo, uh, Jarmo uh, points out, because I was investing in Bitcoin Cash and it hadn't pumped a lot, I also had a little bit, um, yeah, a skewed view on where we were uh, with the crypto market. But even there, like in the end, Bitcoin Cash did pump, but $2,500, which caused also big gains for me. But, but, but I expect to go a lot higher during that um, bull run. Uh, but there, of course, um, um, well, um, uh, I think my assumption, uh, like, 
was more and more proven wrong that it's likely for Bitcoin Cash to keep its market share compared to the previous bull cycle in 2017. Uh, my calculation was based on that, but Bitcoin Cash has continued to lose market share both in um, in 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 in, in money-wise, uh, valuation-wise, but also in attention-wise uh, um, and um, time-wise in in the crypto market and and so. To assume that Bitcoin Cash will gain back its market share that it had is a very big assumption to make. Huh? Um, uh, I did the same for Ethereum. There actually it did pan out, uh, uh, but for, for Bitcoin Cash not. And so that's why I had such a high uh, estimation of price. Well, some people still have a high estimation of that price, but uh, I, I'm, I'm not so confident of that anymore. But that's also not really necessary. Um, my target was 30,000 uh, per coin for Bitcoin Cash uh, uh, in this bull run, but now, like I think, uh, I have to revise that lower. Um, if we reach the 10 trillion, if Bitcoin Cash reaches the market share of um, of uh, of maybe a, a quarter of what it had in previous cycle, it's still 10,000 a coin or so. Is it still a tremendous investment? Huh? Uh, but 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 Bitcoin Cash has that that kind of option where it could actually. Be, be, I, it could actually be seen as an alternative to Bitcoin as, or even as a threat to Bitcoin as a replacement to Bitcoin BTC uh, once it, if it would succeed in becoming the, the silver to Bitcoin BTC or, or, the, the, pay, or the cash, the payment option uh, that BTC is not uh, providing it could also become actually the store of value uh, uh, over time that, uh, and take that over from BTC so that's a small probability but if it happens, it means a, a, a much higher upward potential. Um, but okay, I know this is a bit pie in the sky right now, and 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 I, I don't think like that's really not. Um, um, yeah, um, yeah, that's not so important uh, right now. I think we'll all be happy if if it just doubles or, or five folds or ten folds. That would be already very very nice, and I think that's very probable to happen. But I'm also invested big in DPI. I think it's a great investment. Also in MVI, I'm starting to invest. Uh, so so I, I wouldn't bet it all on Bitcoin Cash. I'm looking at the comments. <laughs> first, uh, first mill uh, said he would sell his uh, car, his BMW. When Bitcoin uh, cash reaches hundred dollar, and now he's also gonna do that. Um, for me, uh, I do have uh, some uh, inv I expenditures that I made in the past, such as buying Tesla, uh, the Roadster, um, uh, which was just a deposit with Tesla, which I didn't. The car is not being produced, so I could actually revert it and ask for my money back and invest it. But I'm not going to do that because this is a great. Um, uh, uh, worst case scenario backup plan <laughs> that you can sell the few assets that you do have I have some money on a bank account also like that I keep that um, uh, and I will never invest that uh, because well what you're gonna do in the worst case scenario eh, it's, it's, it's it, there is always a small chance that yeah we get great depression scenario a la 1930 a la 2008 a dot-com crash a la 2000 uh, that means we go considerably deeper from here and 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 uh, to such an extent that it becomes for me a problem like to pay bills and 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 then it becomes like you have to sell your investments so for for such a, such a time it's good to have some kind of like liquid assets that you can sell uh, uh, and, and and that that you can pay for the bills so that's my plan with uh, with these kind of assets but of course, I'm more than enough invested in these markets already. I don't need more allocation. 
Hey, Isabel, nice to see you. What's your current stance on gold, uh, does uh, Isabel ask? Looking at the macro, I feel prices may actually go up in the short to medium term. Yes. Um, so, so gold... Um, uh, I, I, I don't really have a, an educated view on it. Um, I, I don't really... I would have to put some hours into that. Um, I'm not short gold anymore. Um, only a little bit. Um, I was short gold uh, big, but I changed that into being short a broad commodity index such as GSG, which is mainly exposed to energy, uh, half of the fund, half of the ETF, so uh, oil and, and, and gas. And I think that's a better short than, than gold. Mm, I'm also short coal. Uh, coal. Uh, so I, I don't really know, uh, but I do think that it's likely that stocks will go up versus gold. So I think stocks are a better investment than gold. Um, um right now so yeah but i am bearish on on commodities and gold is part of that huh? um but but there are different indicators some are actually pointing out to higher oil, uh, gold prices others to lower but in general i'm i'm bearish on gold yes um, but I'm always interested to hear your, your case why you're bullish on gold in the short term. Uh. Is it a good time to sell a classic car, says John? Well, there was a big bubble in cars, uh, 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 even used cars and second-hand cars and, and supercars and probably classic cars also. Uh, yeah, I think that bubble has not deflated fully, no. Uh, and so, I, I don't know, I have not kept track of the price the past year. A year ago was the, the best time to sell these things. Now, I don't know, but if it, uh, you know, these kind of things actually go down over time, not up, eh? uh, 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 um, and, and so, so probably uh, uh, that will deflate considerably more these kind of assets. But I could be wrong. I haven't studied in depth. Uh, what resort is this, Mark? Uh, I'm here in Panama, Santa Maria, a beautiful place. So Alex, he says that um, we are close to the bottom, almost all indicators show it. So you need to continue buying huge new blockchains, he says, not BCH, uh, with top developers, money on board and perspective. So yeah, you can uh, share then maybe Alex, see which, which projects you mean. Mikey, yeah, yeah, can you do it? Yeah, you can climb out. You can climb out. You, you show, you show, yeah. Yeah, push, 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 yeah. Push, push. Wow, look at him, look at him. Uh, what is my biggest stock position these days? That's the ARC uh, G fund, genomic. A fund of ARK Invest, it's 10-12% and after that I also have uh, the ARK X fund which is um, uh, uh, investing in space via ARK Invest, also an ETF. I think it's a great and uh, diverse different kind of investment uh, and I also bought actually a new investment. I, I've been selling some of my airlines but I still hold on to a piece of it. I also bought a new uh, project, it's called uh, DraftKings. It's a sports betting website, DraftKings, which I have from that YouTube channel, uh, Not Sweaty. Um, he believes in that project a lot. I haven't studied it. It's basically just a stock tip. Um, invest for 3% of my portfolio. Um, 
but yeah, I think growth stocks, this, this, this stock has, was cut by 10, um, uh, but it seems like it's okay, it's overvalued, you could say, because it's a growth stock, uh, it, uh, uh, it's valued at 5 billion or so, which is rich compared to the revenues, but the revenues are, fa are going up fast. Um, uh, but here I'm just really, yeah, if, if you can trust the right people, they have a track record uh, of, 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 of invest. He, this not sweat, he invested in Amazon and eBay during the dot-com crash. He was visionary in that and kept uh, dollar cost averaging into it and kept it over many years. And then eBay didn't pan out as well, but Amazon did. Like that's really like a, a very admirable. And, and today he believes in this project. And so I'm just copying him there. But it's not really like for me, I, I, I can't really make a strong case why this will go up a lot. But yeah. So, so it is interesting. First, Mill says get out of the stock market and, and, buy, and invest in BCH or. But, um, hmm. well, I have hoped to, like, I inv in the beginning I was indeed also only investing in crypto 10 years ago. Uh, but then, like, I started investing in the stock market as I saw more opportunity there with Tesla uh, in 2018, that was. But, um, but yeah, like, it, I see, actually, it's find it very interesting. But I, I would agree with that. Likely, crypto will outperform stock market a lot. But... I think, you know, I don't want this kind of stress level in the future. I want to really try to avoid that. And I think, and, 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 and so having different kind of good investments, okay, it's most are correlated, that's true, but trying to have them as little as correlated as possible, uh, that's not easy, uh, because of course growth stocks were directly correlated with crypto here. Um, but um, it, uh, uh, that, that doesn't have to be the case. Uh, like, like, you don't, like, you're not sure uh, how the future will turn out and and, 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 and and crypto is not always correlated with the stock market uh, and such a strong correlation that we've seen recently is actually uh, is, is rare huh? uh, so if you you can make different kind of good investments uh, in all kind of things huh? um, if the opportunity is there huh? and, and and you have to don't have to be an expert in this market if you have a friend who you trust is good in art. I don't know, he knows something about paintings and you really trust him. And he, he says, look, this is an opportunity to buy some kind of painting. Yeah, you can do these kind of things. Um, there are many opportunities, but, uh, but they have to pass you. They sometimes comes by randomly. Um, and, 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 and the right approach is to, to throw. Um, uh, money at these kind of opportunities and and to give it time to play out so that's why I, for me i do like to invest also in the stock market but i would say about the arc invest funds like they've done very badly um especially considering that they are at the same valuation as they were before the COVID boom uh, if you look at the past four years you didn't make any money with arc invest and that's not acceptable that's a bad performance huh um, uh, and I think she, uh, Cathy Wood has failed there um, because she did make very good investments with those funds such as Tesla where her predictions came through. However, she would have better just have invested in Tesla then um, uh, 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 because her, 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 her investor would have done a lot better and would have actually made money. Um, so I think there is a fundamental problem with this ARK Invest Fund. And the problem is that exposures cannot go above 10%. And so she ends up selling the good investments very quickly, such as Tesla. And instead she buys yeah, other investments that are not as good. And, and, and that I think has caused her. And of course, she was also always fully invested and never went to cash um, uh, on the heights. And combining these has caused her actually to really not have an overall long term good performance. So. So that's also why I invest, for example, in a project like DraftKings and not just in, in the ARK funds because the real money is made with those 5% of 
stocks or cryptos that really succeed and all the others they are money losers and and uh, but if you're gonna sell off those five percent quickly at the moment they start winning yeah you're not gonna do well also so you need to have an approach where uh, you let these things grow in your portfolio but at the same time like what I have changed to my strategy or I'm planning to change for the future is like I'm not gonna do the like the the, the hold your winners uh, and not touch your winners uh, uh, no uh, but I do believe it's important to sell that also gradually but 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 only gradually slowly and only to invest in new opportunities other opportunities or to go to to, to or to just to go to cash if you believe the market is overheated um, so that's my plan we're gonna close it down guys thank you so much for uh, joining I will finish the comments here Yeah, I don't agree with the statement right now, cash is king. I think right now cash is trash, actually. Uh, that's how you should look at it. Huh? Uh, uh, but once, and when markets are, are, are high, then you should actually say cash is king. Uh, you should think inversely. But now it's good to realize that cash is trash and it's not king. And so to deploy your cash into uh, assets that actually uh, protect you against inflation and they have a potential to tenfold uh, because they are good investments that will businesses that will become much bigger or cryptos that will become much bigger George asks, hi Mark, how do I join the uh, BCH and crypto? What wallet should I use? I, I, I think the Bitcoin.com wallet is very good for Bitcoin Cash and for Ethereum. Um, uh, and uh, you have so many wallets, but that's, that's, that's a good one. Uh, GP1 says investing is only hard when you're wrong. That's right. But I think the challenge of investing, uh, as with many things in life, is also when you're in a company. When you're doing well, probably because I don't have experience running companies, but I like to make a comparison to it. Um, um, when you're doing well, you become complacent huh? and you don't really use your time and energy and mind to improve things huh? um, and 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 and, uh, and you are laying the foundation for your demise huh? um, um, uh, yeah uh, that's that's the problem uh, but 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 investing is hard because on top of that um, well it's hard because you always have to pay a price like a year ago I was bullish when market was already high and people like Classic David and Crypto Medius who were warning me to you know take money off the table that it's gonna go down a lot they had to really ha went through a hard time because they were bearish but the market goes up and you're missing out it's very difficult eh? so what do you do on that moment if you give in to that feeling of FOMO and you, and you, and you want to get rid of that bad feeling that you're missing out you buy huh? And then you, you feel good again. But you're going to pay a very, very hefty price for, for giving in to those emotions. You're going to sit on, on the collapse and you're going to lose lots of money after that. Huh? So during that time, if you're a bear and everybody's making money, it's very difficult emotionally. Huh? And you're afraid you're going to miss that enormous potential that you also see in that asset. Huh? But you just don't think it's the right time. But you're not sure of that. Huh? You have to take a calculated bet there that no, no, I should be disciplined. I shouldn't buy. Actually, maybe I should even go short and sell. Um, uh, and that's very hard during that time. But now you, you, you have the reward. Like if you were right there, then you didn't lose as much money or you even made some money. And now you're sitting on, on the roses. And now you feel good. But then the problem is the next thing. When, when you have been right, huh? Then you become complacent. That's also true for people that were out of the market then and have now 
are able to buy co coins cheaply or went short and have made nice money, they you probably becoming complacent also now and think it will continue to go down. Huh? That's the big um, trap huh? that bears likely fall in. Huh? Um, and if you're just an average investor, what typically happens is you come bullish towards the end, and you come bearish towards the, the end of the of the bottom or near the bottom, you come bearish. And so, so that, that it's it's. But but the, the complacency when you've been right is really something that I've so often uh, uh, experienced, and and so become too bullish at the top, too bearish at the bottom. It's difficult. Um, and so, so so that's what makes investing hard. Okay, because who, who are you going to listen to today? Are you going to listen to someone like me who's been wrong for a year, lost 90% of his portfolio? Well, many people will say, no, thank you. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> uh, so who are you going to listen to? Well, most people want to listen to the guy that has been making money the past half year, who's been bearish, who's been shorting. But you start to listen to that person right now, well, the chance that he's becoming complacent or too arrogant or too, too, too confident is high. And so the chance that if you start following his trade right now and, you, and, and the market goes back up and he's starting to lose money, it's high. Huh? Uh, and, and so that's what makes investing hard. Huh? Hey Mark, Erin Dimmer asks, what do you think of China stocks? They are down 80%. Um, I, I think China has a really, really big problem, uh, like the, the author, author, authority. Authority uh, uh, is too high there, the authoritarianism, and the way the society is run. Uh, and you see a, a big population uh, decline uh, uh, because of the way they run their society and, and still shutting down whole cities um, uh, for, 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 uh, Something like COVID uh, virus is, is makes no sense. All these vaccinations have now are coming. It's becoming clear how harmful uh, this has been. Uh, giving people three, three or two or three uh, vaccinations uh, every year um, uh, has caused uh, serious uh, health issues. Um, so I think um, democracy is very important, and I think even in the West, um, uh, uh, democracy is not fully functioning. Uh, um, and elections are often stolen uh, with uh, fake votes. Um, uh, I think democracy is, is certainly not that great uh, because it's the majority that rules. But I think the majority does make better decisions than, than a small minority on average. Uh, um, on average, people do not want to kill themselves. Uh, on average, people do not want to uh, go into poverty and in the end, if they pay the price, will listen to reason, even if they do some wrong, bad things. But if there's a small, like I, 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 I think China has a real big problem, um, and is destroying a lot of its, 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 its wealth right now by by refusing uh, to free people more, uh, and of course by, yeah. So so no, I, I'm not bullish on China. Um, uh, I believe the West is already hard enough to invest in uh, the United States and Europe and there's already enough going wrong there um, uh, to take on more risk with a, uh, with a system like China. Um, no, no, I'm not, uh, I'm not really... Uh, I also don't want to support it. I believe that, um, that, that the things that happen there are just not acceptable. Um, for example, take out business leaders such as Jack Ma. Uh, he is, um, has built the biggest company of China, Alibaba, and, 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 and he has barely been critical. I want to go to Papa's house. I want to go home. He's barely been critical towards the Chinese government, and yet it was too much for the Chinese uh, 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 government to take him out. To and take him out home. means, is he still home. alive? Maybe. I'm going to Papa's home. Yeah, we go home. Maybe not. Huh? Maybe he's alive, but he can't talk. Um, but that's not like okay, eh? like um, uh, that. That's just a step too far for me. Or, or shutting down whole cities and and. and. I was much more positive about China 10 years ago, 20 years ago. But things have really changed there. It's it's not an open society as it was 10, 20 years ago. Um, 
home. Yeah, we go home. Come, it's gonna rain here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, take the towel. So I'm gonna shut it down, guys. Thank you so much for joining, and I wish you all a great remaining Sunday. You say bye to the people. Say bye bye. Bye bye. People. People, 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 got you. Because you.